Can the volume be in, be in CC or liters? It specifically has to be in CC because conductivity is conductance of a solution whose volume is 1 CC, which means the length has to be 1 centimeter, area cross section has to be 1 square centimeter. So, this volume has to be taken in CC always, which means molar conductance, which is represented with lambda, is equal to conductivity, which is represented with kappa into volume in CC. The molar conductance is conductivity into V in CC. If you put it in the symbol, in terms of symbols, this becomes lambda is equal to kappa into volume in CC containing one mole of substance. The last part of today's discussion is, in case you dilute a solution, what will happen to conductivity? What will happen to molar conductance? Obviously, when you dilute a solution, the number of particles within one cc solution will come down. So, what will happen to conductivity? It is very easy to understand. The conductivity decreases with the dilution. Let it be any solution, the conductivity always decreases with dilution because number of particles per unit volume which defines the conductivity decreases. But at the same time, what happens to the molar conductivity, molar conductance with the dilution? Since molar conductance is kappa into volume in cc containing one molar substance, we have seen that this term is decreasing with the dilution, but this term is increasing with the dilution. So, what happens to the lambda? Suppose this decrease and increase maintains the same rate, there should, should not be any change in this lambda. But the decrease in kappa is more than compensated by the increase in volume. So, you see that lambda always increases with the dilution. So, we have discussed a few aspects of electrochemistry today. Hope you understood the concepts well. You need to practice lots of questions based on Nernst equation, based on conductivity. In the next session, we will be discussing more about molar conductance, the way it changes with the dilution for strong and weak electrolytes separately. We'll also be discussing about the electrolysis, the quantitative aspects of electrolysis. Thank you, thank you so much for listening. See you in the next session. Thanks.